My name is Tom Burr, and I'm an artist uh, from New York. What I very much wanted to do was to think about the relationship of interior architecture and architecture more broadly, perhaps. And the project is a wall that I'm anchoring in the work of the architect Philip Johnson. I wanted to kind of summon in the IDS building, which was a commissioned building by Philip Johnson here in Minneapolis, and formally wanting to play with that building structure, which was this sort of zigzagging front, something Philip Johnson called a zog. And then play that against his uh, private domestic architecture. Friends of modern architect Philip Johnson can always tell when he's at home, and they can tell what's cooking in the kitchen as well. For the outer walls of his house near New Canaan, Connecticut, are made entirely of glass. I mean, here is one of the most famous architects of the 20th century, putting his, his private life uh, alongside his architectural practice. A mid-century homosexual who lived in a glass house in an era when uh, the, the, there was still very much a closeted situation around public persona and, and sexuality. So I was interested in him as a key figure in relationship to these ideas of the inside, the outside, the private and the public. And this IDS building became very interesting to me. Um, and it became hugely interesting to read about how important it was to the history of Minneapolis and to the history of Philip Johnson's career. Both things came together at a particular moment when Philip Johnson needed it and Minneapolis needed it. It does seem to mark a moment uh, when Philip Johnson was sort of navigating his way out of high modernism, the international style, the known cityscape and into something that would become more decorative, more historically embellished, more referenced outside of itself, and ultimately what we would call postmodernism.